this election as a replacement of a by-election for what a very senior member of parliament of Bangkok that passes away. So it's actually a responsibility of all the political parties to find the most suitable candidate to run for this by-election. So in my opinion, I think that we should separate between the national politics and this by-election because we need to find the right candidate with the right qualifications, with the right policy, and of, of course the policy of that particular party, in this case myself representing the Democrat, that are most suitable and most appropriate for the people that are the voter of this constituency. So in my opinion, I think we should really try to focus on what we can offer on our policy and what we cannot do in terms of trying to bring the national politics into this by-election. My main communication message is that I'm ready and I have the experience of doing what is what needed in this constituency, which is a suburb of Bangkok. And of course, we have the right policy of the Democrat Party that can serve all areas and all dimensions of what is needed in this constituency. And of course, with my experience again, as a Deputy Governor of Bangkok, I can bring both the policy and the experience together and to get it or the implementation of the plan that is need to be done in this constituency. Yes, well, first of all, you know, this area is very large. You know, it's actually nearly 450 square kilometers out of 1,500 kilo square kilometers of the total Bangkok area. It's a very large area. And a lot of the populations, a lot of the people are actually farmers. Believe it or not, they are in Bangkok, but they are actually working as a farmers. So we need to really work on our economics policy with regards to the price guarantee of the crops. So this is one of the main policy that the government has been successfully doing. So this is one of the policies that we have been doing and has to tell them that we are you know, working on this. Secondly, this is an area that needs a lot of um, mass transit and transportation. You know, so roads, you know, um, expressway, mass communication, like for example, rail linkage is needed. And there is also a, another very big problem in this area with regard to flooding, water supply and water treatment. So with the water requirement and water um, shortage here, we need to work on both sides, flooding and water shortage in terms of the um, household water. So this is the three area that is very important and very critical. And in the long term, you know, quality of life is also very important. We need to bring the democrat policy of the 15 years free education to this area. And this is something that we are pushing for so that it's been implemented exactly what needs to be done. And it, of course, you know, we need to do a lot of the environment. We need to do, um, able to have a lot of good policy with regard to, you know, um, bringing the, the service to them, you know, the health care and whatnot. So I think it's very important to get the right policy, get the people who can execute and get their hands on the job. So I think it's, uh, the message is clear. Exper experience, good policy and hardworking person to do it in the parliament. Do you think you are in the um, advantageous position because uh, you are in the ruling party and the Bangkok governor is also the Democrat? Yes, I think this is a clean and fair election, you know, but of course, we are in the position that we are running the government and we have to show that the policy is working as a government and we also have to show the policy that as the bank of governor, you know, the policy, his policy is working so that the people can actually realize that the policy of the government and the policy of the bank of governor is working well so they can choose us. So I can say that is a, you know, advantage or disadvantage. Let's say if the government is not doing the right thing, it could be a disadvantage or the government, the governor is not in the right thing, it also can be a disadvantage. But all in all, I'm very happy and I'm very, very proud that the government is doing so well in the policy in many areas. Of course, there are some areas which we have to improve. And of course, the governor is working very hard you know, on the local issues. So that is something that we need to be able to communicate to the people in the constituency that you know, we are working, we are understanding the problem, I understand the problem, and it's my job to bring this problem to the government and to the Bangkok uh, municipality to get it right and working on the issue. 
I think of course, you know, because this is a by-election and it's the first election after the mass demonstration, you know, during the um, April, May, you know, problems. So I think that if we can have a clean and inclusive, a fair and a non-violence election, it would be a great indicator for the Thai democratic process in the eyes of the Thai people and in the eyes of the international people that we are back to normal. And that's what we want to see. And that's what we want people around the world to perceive that Thailand is back in business and Thailand is back to normal. And we are now having the election that is basically can work in a normal democratic way. So that's why I don't want to see any kind of any violence that is going to happen. I don't want to see any, you know, mud throwing. I don't want to see any bad words, any lies, anything to be said, you know, in this campaign. We need to show the policy. People need to be able to have chance to choose the people with the right policy. And of course, you know, that is something that we all should be proud of in our democratic process. I always confidence. I always have confidence in the Thai people that we are very peace-loving people. We don't want to see any violence. But if there is some kind of violence, I think it's been instigated by a certain group of people who doesn't want to see that the government is functioning, and they don't want to see that you know. Of course, um, this election go through in a normal and clean and fair process, a non-violent process. So I still have a strong and honest belief that we will get through this and most importantly, we will have the right man in the right job and the right process in the democratic process. Obviously, it's their party policy and their party decision it has nothing to do with our policy and our decision. So they have lots of people within their party that can come out and reach people and meet people if they decided to select that person to run in this by-election, but for whatever reason, they did not do it. So I think that is their problem, is their reason, and I'm not going to comment on what is their decision, but what I'm doing is the best I can do to reach the people and to be able to communicate with them, basically to learn what is their need and understand, and basically to be able to deliver what is expected out of the member of parliament of this Six constituency six. <laughs> Actually, you know, he did not give me any indication, but I expect that we will last until the end of the parliamentary terms, which is, has got another one and a half years. You know, but of course, this is all dependent on the decision of the people. So I think that, of course, there are no fixed time, but we will definitely work, and the parliament will work as long as you know our term. We will last until the end of next year.